The new Beverly Hills Supper Club exhibit doesn't open to the public until Sunday, but this morning you're going to get a sneak peek. Nine News reporter Adam Marshall is live in Fort Thomas with why the exhibit, exhibit was created and who it honors. Adam. Catherine, good morning. I'm at the Fort Thomas Veterans and uh, Commun Military rather, and Community Museum where this exhibit is set to kick off with a special reception tomorrow evening followed by open to the public on Sunday. But you don't have to wait. We have your sneak peek. Now the exhibit is to commemorate the history of the Beverly Hills Supper Club from its origin as a gambling house all the way to the deadly fire on May 28, 1977. Now the exhibit is a result of Northern Kentucky University graduate students and those here at the museum. I'm joined now with Jody McFarland live. And Jody, tell us a little bit about um, the room we're standing in now and what people can expect to see. Sure, Adam. Uh, we're really thankful to be a part of this project, the uh, Center for Public History at Northern Kentucky University, Fort Thomas Military and Community Museum, the people of Fort Thomas. It's a great thing that we create these partnerships and work together. And they've been very, very helpful. They've brought in these great artifacts. We have things like the entertainers who performed here, some of their record albums. We have Liberace, of course, kind of behind me. Um, we have dresses and artifacts that have been loaned and donated from various citizens and, and members of the community. A great prom dress from the 1970s. Uh, some women's and men's clothes. Uh, lots of things to see here. And and I understand there's also um, an education element to this as well. We learned a lot from that fire. We did, we did, and there's a second room that uh, talks about the fire and more importantly the aftermath, the regulations, the safety codes that came about as a result and, and the continuing education that goes on not just for children but for adults for uh, fire safety in buildings and in the home. Great, Jody, thank you so much. And again, if you want to see this exhibit in person, it will be open to the public starting during regular business hours here at the museum on Sunday.